Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome boxing's pride of Australia, the popular and undefeated, reigning and defending WBO Super Welterweight Champion of the World, introducing the Soul Taker, Tim Zoo. Toque guantes, touch gloves, good luck, buena suerte. You know, Tim Zhu is now always the quickest starter. Ooh, yes, oh, wow. He is. Well, how about in this one? Maybe he is the quickest wow. starter. He took a couple of rounds to get going against Harrison. Oh, but now wow. he's going. And he is sitting wow. down on these combinations. Already has Ocampo on roller skates. Ocampo's against the ropes. And my goodness, Zhu is hitting him like a home run already. But he has to be careful. Now, Zhu missing with. Some wild shots, but Ocampo is still rattled. My goodness, what a start oh. by Zoo down goes Ocampo with the laser right hand. Ocampo okay. goes down for the second time, the first time since he was stopped by Errol Spence in the opening round. And it looks like Zoo's looking to close the show. Mamma mia, lights, camera, knockout. What a start. I would say he had a quick start. <laughs> <laughs> the dog bite brought out the dog in the Soul Taker. Yours. Out of left field title shot, replacing the injured Keith Thurman. Now coming to Las Vegas. Kills against defensive boxers and has really emerged as one of the top body punchers in the sport. Oh! And that right hand! Popping Fundora's head back like a pest dispenser. And the left hook right hand for Zoo, and now finding the timing and finding the distance. The headlines now belong to Tim Zhu coming in here with all kind of momentum and now going to the body with the right hand. And Fundora Abner still trying. Fundora's trying to, he doesn't have a real snap jab. Oh! He's got a measuring jab. But it, it, it's, a, it's a very awkward dance. You see where their front feet are. And wow, another sniper like right, another right hand lands and. We saw Zhu looking to catch and shoot as well after. But it's three, four, we've seen five straight right hands He's right. Carrying the punches and landing the rights. Flush throw. Avoiding the punches of Fundora. Very composed, very mature. Breaks down his opponents. Nice little cute feints by Zhu. And then another jump. He's going to get stopped or not. The one thing is, the cut doesn't look like it's in his eye. It looks like it's high. Well, he is definitely coming on like a man who sees red. Use that jab. That's a bad cut. And of course, it happened before round four. It's urgent that Tim Zhu. But again, there's, there's the blood in his eye. You can't see that. Oh, there's a lead left uppercut right hand by Zhu. But Joe Kusin. Oh, a nice lead left hand from. Right left. I mean, uh, right left with that right hand. Right there. That was it. You called it again. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, pretty much. All right, well, here we are to establish the jab, and it takes a, a cut on the head for him to do it. Zeus' character, not many fighters at his level would have taken this fight on 12 days' notice with the stakes. Fights are thereabouts. How many southpaws did you fight? You said, what, three? About four, yeah. Three. And, and like you mentioned in the last round, Joe. Per round, after landing three per round in his previous five fights, to the... The basic fundamentals, Mr. Mares. Yeah. Those short circuiting, any attempt to build momentum, heavy lead right hand by Zhu, lead left hook by Zhu. And less than a minute now remaining in round 10. Nice, Ooh. solid, one, two. Round number 11 into the two. So, I mean, in terms of the total punches landed, not as big a, a chasm as the. Not good. He's just winning round by round. Oh, look, he did. discipline. Slugger it out instead of doing this. To win a well, unified title here in Las Vegas. His father did, but he was Russian born. And now this fight, you have Fundora up by three points. We don't know how the judges see it. And at the best, at the most opportune exactly. time of his career. Just obey my commands and protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck to both of you. Mendoza came to us. Oh, already. 
punches him when he lands. Oh my God, he, he's got power. Oh, there's the right hand. Has initiated some attacks. And there's Zhu landing a right hand. Nice combination by Zhu. You know, both these men are capable of being a good combination punchers. There's a left hook to the body by Zhu, but he's looking for something. Meanwhile, the clock ticks away. He's looking for that right uppercut. And you know what? He has the height and reach of Rose Mendoza, but Barry took a big right hand. He's trying to use it by boxing. You, you want to stay away from the ropes? Yeah, ask so Tony Harrison. Cool. Uh, Al, that both of them have beautiful uppercuts. Oh, on cue, a beautifully executed left uppercut. You know, you gotta be careful. Oh, did you tell us after round four? You know, uh, win this fight, Mendoza, but again, Sue is always there. Outer left hand by Mendoza to the face. Steve Farhood's in the Boxing Hall of Fame, where he should be. An interesting by Sue. Oh, oh, wow, wow. Well, here comes Triple the Triple right uppercuts by Sue. Has him in the corner. Mendoza trying to hold on. Gets clipped with a right hand. Another right hand. Careful with that punch. A rabbit punch, but again, the clubbing right hand. And now, final 30 seconds of the eighth round. Ooh, that right missile like should have precision, power, and aggression, and putting it on display here in the ninth. Far out. Who got countered and hurt? Now there's Sue going downstairs. And up. Yeah. Mixing it up well. Zoo is landing enough to control his fight. But again, it's the mobility for Mendoza. He's moving well, he's a lot. Hurt by that yep. right hand, Abner. Zoo beginning to try to unload on Mendoza. Right hand, another right. Right uppercut, jacks the jaw. How in the hell is Mendoza still standing? I mean, we can guess that he's losing this fight, so. It's, it's either a knockout for him to get the victory. I'm going to be the guy to say it because somebody has to. Those early rounds may have been close. Maybe they weren't close. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying. And Mendoza comes back with a combination. Goes to the body. Eats a right uppercut. Another right uppercut on the inside. Mendoza desperately trying to stay on his feet. By Sue. And he doesn't want to open up if you're Mendoza. He's trying to throw some punches. But if he does, he's going to get hit. Overwhelming. Another lead right hand from Mendoza, but he eats a couple of rights from Zoo, a third right hand at the bell. But uh, w would winning this ooh. round be enough even? And now he's a champion. Check yourselves at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves, may the best man win. Zhu misses with the left. Yeah, and again, you want to entertain uh, Sue with that jab and perhaps get that right hand in. Final seconds here of round one as Zhu connects. Now, in this round, Sue's not pressing it enough. He's, he's keeping a little gap just enough for it. Zoo, uh, stays off balance, and right now he's not doing that. So he's getting caught with different punches. And that's that double cut. There haven't been any body punches from Zhu yet. We take a look at uh, power punches. There's a double right hand by Tim Zhu. Yeah, no. Here's a right hand, that one rocked Harrison. Back to the ropes. Here's the other right again. A right hand by Zhu. And another right hand. Jab, jab, right hand, and step back, and then come back and move. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I don't want to get hit with the, the hard shot, so now it's time. Um, they're going to take it up now. Against the ropes. It's him really well, and this is the rounds where he's going to press a lot more. Here's the body shot, the left. There's the right uppercut. Yeah, if you're Harrison, you don't want to fight to toe to toe. There's the right hand. Backs him to the corner. There's a right to the body by Zhu. There's a good one, too. And then a left hook to the body. And um, just coming forward, a lot of pressure. To pick it up later in the rounds. He don't really just get off too fast. And There's a left hook to the body by Tim Zhu. Overhand right. And he's got Harrison against the ropes. 
Keep him entertained with that jab. There's the right hand. By getting a lot of experience tonight against Tony Harrison and pretty much. Sneepy uppercut, overhand right. Zoo comes back with a right of his own and then a left to the body. And another right hand, right on the button to Harrison. And a right to the runner. Harrison's hurt. He's get hurt. Zoo backs him to the ropes. Here's a left hook. No movement, no holding. Yeah, he needs to guard him. He's got to hold on. Double uppercut by Zoo. He's looking to stop Tony Harrison. It drops him. Dan Rex, Top Dawson, says that is it. Tim Zhu said, I'm going to drown him in round nine, and he gets the stoppage. He predict predicted that, and he did it. Wow, ninth round. And protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck to both. A little bit. Zhu tries to dig to the body. Couple shots to the body. For Tim Zhu. You know, letting his hands go a little bit more. You just say, we'll just take his time and let his hands go when he has to, when he needs to. He will body shots. First uppercut for Zhu, so now he's starting to mix that punch in. The pressure that Sue is applying right yeah. now, it's... Yeah. And that's it is. Boucher, and that is a knockdown, but no. A kind of a power punch, so I don't know. Gachet looks like he may have been affected by something. And there's a big left hand from Zhu and another one. And now... Be careful. He's got to be careful. So he's coming. Oh, another sharp he's right hand. Oh, that's hurt. Oh, so there's a chopping right hand, and that hurt Kishay. Kishay almost went down, not quite. Almost about to go once again. A big right hand again by Zhu. Kishay trying to hold on. Zhu forces him up against the ropes again. He is still on wobbly legs. Two uppercuts. The third one missed. And then a right and a left to the body. And another big shot up top. That's what Sue's doing. Oh, the right hand. Kind of right hand drives Gachet back into the ropes. I think it's going to get a little bit uglier for Gachet if he doesn't find that right. Sue is just following him around. Now he's got him against the ropes again. A sharp right hand to the head. Gachet goes to the body. Now comes with an overhand right. Another just touched him with the right to the body and a left hand to the head. And the butt up body work. I mean, he's just a very good body puncher. Yes, he is. And yeah. again, Gachet up against the ropes. And... It's his target practice for, yeah. for Zhu, even yeah. though. Yes. It's, it's so funny. Every time Gachet throws the right, you see the right uppercut come back. Yeah. Yeah. And up against the ropes, chopping right hand from Zhu. Left hand slips in, and another right hand. Gachet, as you said, is oh, trying. Oh. He's still landing. Oh, there's a great my. uppercut, and another uppercut. What a fun round. His feet has been very entertaining. Yeah, against Lubin was more of a technical fight. Yeah. Going to land really nice, really clean. And there's an uppercut again. Kind of for Gachet at times. Oh. And a right. Left hand, now a right hand, and a left to the top of the head. Double right hand, and then another one. I'm so ashamed. No, don't, don't be. <laughs> <laughs> there he is, right back at him. And mm -hmm. right back into the ropes goes the shade. Ramirez is sitting here. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Body shots again now right up the middle. Fighting yeah, the shade. Yeah, so it was, but in the meantime, he took 10 punches before that. And in this round, Zhu is throwing about three to one in terms of punches, so. Okay, yeah, see right there? You gotta wait for right, <laughs> there it is, a right punch. <laughs> and a <laughs> <hook in>. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> It's over.